My name is Sue Bird. I work part-time at Worcester College teaching hairdressing level one and two. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about creative colour and also demonstrate to you some creative colour. Creative colour is about thinking outside of the box and being individual. It's a great way of giving a traditional hairstyle a kick or making an up-to-date cut even funkier and eye-catching. Your colour choice is right through from your blacks right to your platinum silvers. You can use coppers, violet reds, any colour range that you want. The more striking and bold the colours are, the more striking the look's going to be. And that's really what creative colouring is about. Uh, you can use permanent colours or you can use semi-permanent if you just want it to be like a high fashion look and then remove it. The techniques used in creative colouring are your traditional weaves, your slices and your block colouring. Those are your more traditional styles that you can use. Or you can use um, modern techniques like duo colouring, 3D highlights, dip dyeing or even hidden colour. My model today is Natalia um, and as you can see she has got colour on her hair at the moment. She's slightly growing out on the top. I've carried out a full consultation with my client today and we've discussed what she likes and what she doesn't like and also the impact on your lifestyle of having something that is quite high fashion and also a commitment budget wise and time wise. So it's really important that she's able to maintain her new look and also that it reflects her personality. We've actually decided that what we're going to do is do some hidden colour underneath in slices okay so that the colour is actually coming down in pieces on angles underneath all the way around the head but the actual main colour is still going to be this warm chocolate brown so first of all I'm now going to section the hair so we're going to do it at an angle so we take nice clean sections. Okay, so as you can see, we've got that nice sharp V angle at the back going up on the sides. Okay, so we're gonna start on the one side here taking slices. If I took just weaves, they tend to just mingle in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is take some nice big slices so she gets a real flash of colour. Okay, so keeping it on the angle, nice and tight to the root. Make sure the hair's nice and tight. Okay, folding it over. There you go, so that's your first section in. I'm going to carry on on that section. Next one I'm going to take is actually a blonde one. I am going to leave pieces of hair in between so that she does get a little bit of her colour, natural colour in it. It's really important as well to remember what colour you've started at so that the next side you'll just repeat what you did on this side. Okay, nice and close to the root. Okay, so we can leave that down and then move on to our next section. You can actually see there's quite a build up of product on the end of this hair. Um, but I've actually used a 30 vol peroxide with this um, Vera Ultra just to make sure that I get through that colour build up on the end and that it is quite a nice vibrant toffee. 
So I think this will be our last one on this section. I'm just going to put a last blonde. So this is a bleach foil that's going in on the nape. Okay, so we've got our two sections now done. So we're going to be working on this back section down here. Again, just another section. She's going to be, her base colour's been pinned up and this is going to be another blonde one. The Vero Ultra colours can actually look quite a strange colour when you're applying them. They don't look the colours that they come out on the box um, until the hair's processed. So don't be a little bit worried if some of it looks a little bit greeny when you're putting it on. Okay, so we've now just got the last section to do. Just turn it around and we'll come over to this side. Okay, so we've now finished and we've actually got all our foils in around the hair. Um, what we're going to do now is we're just going to put a couple of foils in the fringe there just to break it up. And we're just going to put some of the toffee colour in. We're going to just keep the blonde in the sides and around the back and the toffee and just put some toffee in the front so it's not actually that bright. What I'm going to do is instead of doing... Um, slices, I'm actually going to do weaves so it's just softer on the fringe area. Okay, so we've now got all the foils in and we're ready to put the base colour on. The base colour that we've chosen is the 5B here, which is in your beige series. So that's actually got quite a bit of warmth in it, which will complement the toffee colour and the blonde that we've put through. So if I take my clips out on the top, we can start applying the colour on the root area, starting at the top. What we've mixed with the 5B is a 10 vol peroxide. The reason for that is because we just want to deposit colour and my lucky client has no grey hair. Okay, we're going to do the root area first and then take it through to the mid lengths and ends because she's already got quite a bit of colour on the ends. So we just need to tone that up after, really. OK, so taking sections and applying it thoroughly to the root area. It's really important that you take these sections nice and slim so that you're not going to miss any areas. The good thing about having hidden colour underneath like this is that the regrowth isn't going to be that obvious because we're not that far off her natural colour anyway. So as it starts to grow out, she won't have blonde pieces from the root area because they're all hidden underneath. So this is what we call hidden colour really. Okay, so we've gone right down to the foils now. I'll show you that, so now we can take the foils up and do 
do the area in between. Make sure you do the top and the under section. You'll notice that I folded my packets into little triangles. The reason for that really was that because I was doing it on an angle, they wouldn't overlap, they'd stay out the way. Right, we're now going to move through to the mid lengths and ends. Make sure that we cover it well. So we're going to take each section up and just apply it mid lengths and ends, making sure that I'm getting a good coverage. Okay, and then work the colour through. You can also use your, cut, your comb to colour, to comb the colour through. So we're applying plenty on and then we're working it through with our hands. It's important that you work quite fast doing this because you've got processing time on all your colour. If you take too long doing this, then your foils will overprocess. Okay, we're going to do the sections in between the foils. Okay, so the hair's now been blow dried and it's been straightened to give it a nice smooth glossy look. We've used the Joyco smoothing balm uh, just to add some moisture and we've also used a shine spray to finish off. The colour is hidden underneath but it's given us those nice warm autumn colours of copper and blonde. Okay, so what she can do is just keep it down in the day and just keep it quite natural looking. And then if she wants to go out at night, she has the, the opportunity of like showing off the lighter bits underneath. So it's quite subtle. You could take that brighter if you wanted to. We'll just keep it as this more blended look.